What the similarity you find between Trump and Modi? Both are uh, working together. Yeah. If there was any doubt about their alignment, that doubt was put to rest in Houston when they stood together and endorsed each other. Both are Islamophobic, both are nationalists, both either are or support extremists and supremacists, white supremacists in this country, Hindu supremacists in India. So they're, they're you know, they're cousins, they're brothers, they have the same ideology and it's, it's not unclear, it's not ambiguous, it is fascism. Alyssa Stein, I'm from New York City. I'm Jennifer Fisher and I'm also from New York City and I am here to warn the world in case there's any country left that does not know that he cannot be trusted, he will not keep his promises any more to you than he does to us. You have written arrest from Yes. What does it mean and why? It is more and more apparent every day that he has overstepped the boundaries of the presidency of the United States, that he's broken the law, that he, uh, what's going on with the Ukraine right now is showing that he does not abide by the rules of this country. He's made Congress ineffective. He controls red states. We are living in a very dangerous, bordering on dictatorship uh, situation. And it's our job as Americans to fight this and make sure that change happens in 2020. Uh, hi, I'm Anya Lumba. I'm a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. And I represent uh, Campus Anti-Fascist Network, uh, which is an organization working all across this country, and also the Philadelphia South Asian Collective. Uh, why you are here today at the UN office? Well, we've been organizing this protest for a long time. We are here to protest Modi's visit to the United States um, and using this occasion to highlight uh, his and his party's operations in India and their unholy alliance also with Trump, I think. Yeah. So, uh, there's a very uh, curious case that he came all the way from India and he started campaigning for Trump. So, how do you see this phenomenon? You know, this is actually a marriage made in heaven, you could say, because India for a long time has been angling for superpower status, for having the veto in the United Nations, um, and uh, uh, they share so much agenda right now, uh, whether that is Islamophobia, anti-immigration, suppression of dissent, uh, and this is a golden opportunity for Modi um, uh, to actually consolidate uh, his alliance with United Nations, whether that be the corporates in the United Nations or actually the U U.S. Uh, state. Now, of course, even Obama had called Modi uh, the man of the year and so on, but I think it would have been very different and difficult for him to have the same kind of constituency. Now, for Trump, on the other hand, this is also golden uh, opportunity because he loves the kind of strongman tactics and the uh, Islamophobia and general style of functioning of the Modi government and for the US strategically, what better than to have a base of operations in India, such as that it's not been able to have so far.